black and white. Why? Because I love it. Shaka guys and welcome to the coolest show on the tube. National Science Day is coming up and that's why I have decided that I'm going to teach you some cool tricks to make your science projects even more interesting. Now back in school, I used to love science because there's so much you can do. You can mix chemicals, you can set things on fire, you can dissect frogs, you can make oozing volcanoes. Basically, you can do a lot of science projects and trust me, my science projects used to be the best. And just by adding a little bit of creativity and imagination, even you can make your projects stand out or pop up. Because that's what we are going to do. We are making an Earth's Lair pop-up card. To make a pop-up card, you need some supplies. Here's the list. Alright, let's get started. But before that, we need to understand the Earth's layers. For example, the outermost layer is called the crust, which consists of uh, the mountains, lakes, water bodies, trees, and it's the layer that we live on. And compared to all the other layers, the crust is the thinnest. And when you go down, you reach the upper mantle, then the lower mantle, and then you have the outer core, and then finally the inner core, which is the hottest. And each of these layers, we can depict by color. So the inner core being the hottest, we can show by red, and the outer core by orange, and then slowly moving upwards to the crust, you can have a brown layer depicting the mountains or the ground where the trees grow and we live. All right, so let's start. I'm using a compass to draw our first layer, which is the crust. After you're done, use scissors and cut it cleanly. Okay, so we have our first layer, which is the crust. Now you can leave it clean and simple like this, or you can add a little bit of detail to this layer. So I'm drawing some wavy lines to depict mountains, and then you can add some trees some water body. Once you're done with your detailing, you can cut it. Okay, so we have added some detailing to our crust layer. All right, so our crust layer is done. And the same way, we have to cut the other layers. Okay, so as you can see, we have all our layers ready. And now, we will get the base for our pop-up card. So I'll move the layers aside. For the base, I'm using a box board. Now, we will measure the half of this sheet. And using a cutter, we will just score it so that it folds like a regular card. All right, you can see there's a thin line here. And just along this scored line, we will bend it. Now you have a nice crease line. So our base is ready for our pop-up card. Now I'll show you how to stick the layers. First, we'll make a small slit right in the middle, like that. Now we'll fold it. Now you can see we have a fold here, almost like an L shape. Using this folded portion, we will stick it right in the middle of the box board. And instead of sticking it straight, you have to stick it at an angle like this, so that when you fold the card, this layer of the earth folds with the card and hides inside. Okay, now let's use Fevicol MR and stick it in place. Now the same way, we'll stick all the other layers. There you go, we are done with all the layers. Okay, so all the layers are done of our card. Let's keep it aside for drying and I'll show you how you can add some more details to your card. You can see I have some pre-cut circles here with the same colors that we have used for our earth layers. Now we'll stick them to make another model 
of the layers of the earth. Okay, so the layers are done and here I have made the earth using paper cutouts of the same size. We will fold this in half and we'll do the same thing for this one. We will stick the ends like this. There you go. Also, you can add another small detail, which is the layers of the earth. I have taken this printout. If you want, you can write it. There you go. We have cut all the text. So let's get the card in. And now we'll stick this right here. So let's use some Favicol MR and stick it in place. Now I'm sticking all the text. Now I'm using a punching machine and making small dots and we'll place it right in front of the layer like this so that the same color depicts the layer on our dissected view of the earth. All right, so the inside of our card is ready. Now let's make the outside also slightly more impressive. There you go. And in the end, using a marker, I'll just write the name of our project. So guys, you saw how we took an old classroom project and gave it an interesting pop-up look. And the cool thing is that you can apply this technique to any project you want. Uh, if you want to make a cross-section of anything, just use the same pop-up technique and make it. And it's simple and fun, so do try it out. And if you're making it, then click pictures and share with me on my Facebook or Instagram. And do write in the comment section below. I love reading your comments. So let me know if you like this or you have any other ideas or you want me to help you with any other science project. And remember, this whole week is science week. So I'll be doing a lot more science DIYs. So keep tuning in to catch some more science projects. And if you want to be part of my videos, then send me your intro links. All the details are in the description below. I'll see you next time, guys. Until then, do good and be good. Peace.